So what do I have? A digital meter. A DL69-2047. And it's an LED meter. Uh, 100 amps. Uh, 80 to 300 volts AC. So what does that mean? Well, so I have a um, setup for doing experiments uh, using AC uh, voltages, um, pow power voltages, right? And I have a Variac, and the Variac runs into an isolation transformer. And then the isolation transformer comes over to this box, and I can turn it on and off, and uh, be very careful. Uh, I have a 1 amp fuse built in, a uh, circuit breaker actually. And then I have uh, the death leads here. So, very dangerous things to do. Uh, do things like this at your own risk, of course. Um, but sometimes you just need to be able to power things up. And you'd like to do so safely. So this is kind of the safest thing I could come up with. The isolation transformer is an absolute must. Get yourself a really good isolation transformer. Um, if, you, if you touch one of these, normally... Uh, you can return to ground and uh, have a path to ground and, and electrocute yourself. Um, whereas the isolation transformer breaks that, uh, breaks that uh, connection to ground that would normally happen in your circuit breaker box on your house. Um, so have an isolation transformer. The isolation transformer then comes to this box. I, I have a switch that I can turn on and off quickly. Uh, that's sometimes not so safe, sometimes safe. Um, only use one hand at a time. That's a good thing to do. Um, I used to call these suicide cords, so be very, very careful. Um, also, between the isolation transformer and this box, I have another thing, which is this meter. Um, and that's just a meter in a box, and it measures voltage and current, calculates power, and then does uh, uh, watt hours. Uh, which I don't find very useful in this application, but it allows me to glance up here and see the voltage and when I adjust the Variac, I, I can adjust the Variac to the voltage that's displayed here. But more importantly, when I put something on it, I can measure how many watts uh, are being uh, consumed or how much how much amps is being consumed. So really it's a, uh, a volt, volt amp meter. Um, it's fine. I've had it for a while. I like it. Um, but I saw um, something else online that I thought might be better, which is this thing. Um, so let's take a look at it. Um, it's the same size as the other one, so I think I can be able, I can uh, take that one out and put this one in and, and not have to change anything on the box. Um, but the reason I like this one is uh, the display on it, I think, is going to be nicer. Uh, it's an LED display. Um, that, that LCD display is backlit. It's, it's pretty nice, but this one looked pretty nice on the photographs. So I'll have to see how that looks, but it's LED based. Um, it's the same thing. It's a, it's a uh, volts and amps and watts, uh, but it has this little button that you can also look at uh, kilowatt hours like, like that one up there. But more importantly, it actually looks at power factor. It does the cosine theta of the, of the uh, phase angle of the power. Um, so uh, this includes more functionality, um, and I think it'll look cool too. So um, in order to use this thing, you, you have a uh, 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 power coming in, and you have this... Uh, sense sensing toroid so you need to have your wire go through here that you want to sense the current from and then uh, the wire would then go through this into your load and then return again so um, that's pretty self-explanatory um, this claims 80 to 300 0 to 100 amps 0 to 30,000 3,000 Yeah, three three thousand watts, uh, up to nine 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 kilowatt hours. Uh, that's a, a cumulative thing, you know, how many hours it's run. Uh, then uh, the cosine factor from from zero to one. Um, so yeah, so let's power this thing up. Let me uh, let me have, I have some little wires here. I'll put on it so we can just quickly power it up and play with it. I always keep the leads, when I snip leads off of uh, PC boards when I'm doing projects, I'll keep the leads. 
um, especially LED leads. LED leads tend to be quite rugged and they're nice for other things, so I, I love keeping the LED leads. So there we go, we have uh, uh, our AC input and we're going to use this, this box to power it up. So we will put the, um, oh in fact we can measure its own power. So let's uh, put, let's put this through, like yay. Let me zoom out a bit, see what we're doing here. So uh, the current being drawn by the meter, it's going to be measured. Uh, normally you wouldn't do it that way, but we will do it this way. Um, and let's see here, we will go over here to the meter and then the other lead we will put over here. There we go. So we have, have all of this going. We have, we have our uh, toroide looking at the current through the red wire. And let's turn it on. Nothing. Oh, there it goes. Takes a while to warm up. Oh, there we go. It's actually measuring something. Um, 119 volts, 0 0.02 amps, so good resolution. So it's 2.4 watts. Wow, it's a lot of watts just for a tiny little, tiny little box. I wonder if that's really true or not. Let's um, let's measure the uh, measure the volts here. AC volts. Let's measure what's going on in the input. Uh, I'm measuring 118. Let's see. Can you see that? Let's move over a slight bit. Um, 118.9, and we're having here 118.6, so, yeah, close enough. That's pretty cool. And, uh, amps, I suppose we could measure, uh, I guess we can measure amps with this thing. Let's see here. Uh, AC amps. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's open this lead. Let's put one lead of the meter on that, and the other leg of the meter I will hold in my hand and try not to get shocked. Okay, so I will turn it back on and power this thing up. And um, yeah, measuring uh, 2.4 amps. And why isn't it coming on? It's interesting. I guess it doesn't like the ammeter in the circuit. Well, that's pretty weird. Hmm. Well, let's put it back on the meter. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, so I think uh, this is probably uh, quite accurate. I don't know why it didn't power through the meter, but whatever. Yeah. So uh, I think I'm going to like this uh, this meter much better uh, than the other meter. Um, we can measure, like I said, kilowatt hours, uh, and we can measure, oh, here we go, power factor. So the power factor of this box is uh, 72%, uh, 0.72, um, cosine theta. Pretty cool. I'm not really, uh, uh, let's see, we should be able to move this wire through the, uh, yeah, they say, in the instructions that uh, and, and in anything when you're using a toroid you have to make sure that the uh, wire that goes through the toroid is exactly on the center of the toroid so we can see that here when we're exactly in the center we're reading about 0.7 and if I come up uh, towards uh, well, I can get it to vary a little bit yeah 7.1 anyway Try to get the, the wire that you're measuring going exactly through the center of the toroid. Um, yeah, 2.4 watts, 118.3 volts. I don't have really solid connections here at that, so it's going to vary a little bit. But yeah, I like it. So I think I'll uh, swap out my, uh, my meters and uh, have a new and improved. Putting it back in the box, I noticed there was a uh, instruction sheet in there that I didn't see the first time. So let's take a look at that. Uh, 
multi-function digital meter user guide. Accuracy, 1% plus or minus two words, two digits, right? The least significant digit. Uh, AC voltage, uh, red LEDs. Uh, we read all of this uh, range before. Two times per second, so the update is uh, twice a second. Um, it tells you how to push the button and to change the different modes. That's pretty easy. And then uh, this is uh, this is how you should actually have it hooked up. Uh, your AC voltage goes through the load and back again. And then you tap a little bit of that off so you can run your uh, run your meter on it. Um, oops, on the back, same thing, but uh, in Chinese. Jaguar Hanhao.